hey guys welcome to my youtube video so today i'm going to be showing you how to uh, create a code pipeline and with this code pipeline we'll use it to uh, upload our software uh, codes to s3 buckets so uh, with the code pipeline i'm going to create the s3 uh, link as well so uh, let's start from here you know, I have code pipeline in my recently visited uh, services. But if you don't, just come here and search for code pipeline. So here is your code pipeline. Now, code pipeline is like a, is a CI uh, service in, in uh, AWS, which you can use to link your code from your repository to your AWS account and you can have them hosted on your S3 buckets and and also here is my code pipeline so you can see I don't have any code pipeline running at the moment so I have to create create pipeline so here let me just give it a name I could just call it uh, testing one you can give it any name you want let me just give it testing one okay so here is telling me to choose an existing service that's if I have so I'm going to do new service row now what this will do is that it's going to create a row for this pipeline which will make it to operate in your account so it's it's like a, an I a, a, I am I am a row you get that will, that will be used to to be able to link uh, whatever you want to do here so if you have an existing row you could have you could choose but i'm creating new so this is a default generated name i could i could change the name to whatever i want but i'll just leave it this way allow aws code pipeline to create a service role yes so it can be used with the new pipeline which is what i have allowed here when you come here the advanced I'm going to leave it default. This default means you can see it says use the default artifact store designated in the in the same region and account as pipeline. Yes, if you want to do a custom location, you can choose it. But I'm going to use this default. The same thing with the uh, management key. So I'm going to use default. So the next thing is I'm going to go next. Now it's telling me to choose the source of my code so choose source now I'm going to choose a uh, github version 2 so here is how I'm going to connect my github account to this uh, AWS uh, account so come here go to connect to github that's if you have not connected before but on my, in my own case I have connected before so okay let, let, let's just go with that uh, okay so if you have not connect so let's name our connection let me just name the connection testing one as well you can name it and then name you're fine with so testing one wants to connect to the github you click connect to the github so this will take you to a place where you'll be able to uh, do authentications. So, so here is it. Here is saying I should choose because I have actually uh, because I have once upon a time used this account to connect with my GitHub repo, a uh, GitHub account rather. That's why it's showing me this. This is my GitHub username. However, if you have not done it before, you just come here, you go to install a new app. So when you click this, it will redirect you to a place where you can choose your GitHub account and then you do the authentication. But I'm not going to do this because I've done it before. This is the account I'm using. So let's go back. So because I've done it before, I'll just choose it here. This is the account. So go then connect so I've connected the 
code uh, the code pipeline name with the with my github account so the repo i want to use that which of the which of my repo am i creating this code pipeline for i think there's a job i have here devops devops project one something like that okay i'm going to use this okay this is one of my repo anyways devops project one have code okay so on this code i have just one branch main so if you have other branches it's going to list them here then you can choose which branch you want to use to do this connection it means whenever you have a code or anything uh, updated on that very branch is going to trigger a uh, run in here so i'm going to use my main branch change detection start the pipeline on now if you untick this it means you always come to this account to trigger uh, a run so i don't want to do that because that would be like a manual thing so i take it for automatic so whenever you push anything to your github repo it's automatically reflect here but i'll use the default for this then i'll go to the next now i'm going to skip this place now i will still do another video where i'm going to use this then we're going to be using we won't be using s3 probably we'll be using a, a aw elastic beanstalk but for now i'm not going to do i'm going to skip the build stage so i'm going to do skip it yes i'm skipping this the reason i'm skipping that is once you activated that then you have to create a yaml file and all of that so i'm going to do that in another video not this video so it's telling me to choose a def, uh, deploy provider so i'm going to choose s3 for this so in the next video i'm probably going to do a video where we're going to use this elastic being stock if you know about uh, AWS services, you should know what Elastic Beanstalk uh, can help you do and all that, that, that. But let's just go with S3 bucket. I just want to keep this video simple. So, of course, I'm using uh, this uh, default region. The bucket I'm going to be using and all. So, okay, I created this bucket, DevOps Project 001. So it's an empty bucket at the moment. So I'm going to push. So I'm going to use this bucket. S3 key. I'm going to just uh, just going to skip that. I'm going to click this extract file before deploy. This is good. So so all right. So now that's it. So it's a, this is a review of the settings I've selected. So once I create this once i click create pipeline it will start creating the pipeline the only place i skipped was this view stage so it will start the you will see the whole thing now and it will deploy it so create so immediately you see it it has started this you can see in progress is already connecting to the source of my code which is the repo so once this connection is completed it will go to deployment straight so this okay you can see green green so everything is succeeded and for you to be sure that this has been done perfectly let me just go and check my s3 bucket s3 bucket where i sent those codes to so Where's my S3 bucket? Okay, and this is the very bucket we chose. So you can see, these are the codes. You can see the timing. This is just when I did this. So for us to, so now we have all the codes in that, for that repository. This is actually the repository I used. You can see. You can see all the codes here are here already now for us to be sure i will trigger something now and you will see how it's going to reflect on the code pipeline so i have this very code on my uh, local machine 
Okay, this is the code here. It's it's one of the project I'm working on at the moment. So <clears throat> let me just okay. So this is the code. So what I just want to do is okay. Let me just do something around this very file. This is one of the files of the code. Uh, this algo manifest. Let me just uh, do something at least. Okay, git status. Let me see. Git status. Okay, it shows that something has been modified in this file. So let me git add. Git add. Then let me git uh, commit it. Let me just say. I go. I go see the underscore manifest dot yaml file edited. So that's just the commit message. So I've done that. So let me just uh, press clean again. Let me just git um, push. Let me push the code. Now I've pushed the code. When you come here, now let me go to my code pipeline and you see how the effect will take place immediately. Code pipeline. You see, just now, you see, just now. So whatsoever I've done there, it has already taken place immediately here. So it's because the push wasn't that much. So it will, if it were to be a push that would take like 10 seconds or a minute, it will take the time, you can see. So the last uh, commit that was done has reflected here. And if you check uh, my uh, GitHub, you see that commit here, which is a uh, config on um, where was it? Okay, one minute ago, you can see. So, so the moment the commit is made there, it's reflecting here, and this is uh, the simplest of 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 it when it comes to using code pipeline. It could get more complex than this when 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 you need to start. Uh, trying to use it for a real uh, DevOps uh, activities like building your code, uh, deploy uh, YAML file and all of that. I'm going to do another video which will cover all of that. But this is just for the simple way to use uh, AWS uh, code pipeline. And don't forget to empty your uh, S3 buckets because you might be incurring some uh, charges so I'm going to empty my bucket except you really want to keep it but if it is just for practice try and empty just click here empty so it's going to tell ask me if I want to delete permanently and I will type that permanently So it's going to empty everything. Empty. So for you to be sure, let's just go back to that uh, bucket. Is it? You can see it's empty. So that's it, guys.